There we have the smoke from the Sistine Chapel and you can hear from the roars of the crowd in the Piazza of St. Peter's that it's white. It's unequivocally white. Alistair Bruce. No doubt at all the decision has been made that the Cardinals have spent their time in prayer and thought and they have chosen St. Peter's successor here in Rome. from Argentina, the first Pope in 2,000 years who was from a, the New World. Who was a front runner also, at least discussed yes. last time. He received, in the last vote, he received 40 in, in the last election, received 40 votes, a wonderful man of the poor. He goes around Argentina, he doesn't have his own car, he goes on the public transport. Isn't this a great sign for us? And on the eighth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer. God said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn, milk cows, work all day in the fields, milk cows again, eat supper, then go to town and stay past midnight at a meeting of the school board. So God made a farmer. And the Oscar goes to Argo.
half an hour. Officials say a, quote, abnormality in the power system triggered an automatic shutdown that forced backup systems to kick in and keep the inside of the Superdome from going totally dark. Entertech, uh, Energy, rather, the company that uh, runs the power there in New Orleans, which provides the power also to the Superdome, said in the statement that they are still trying to learn what caused the abnormality in the first place. Entertech, uh, Energy, rather, the company that uh, runs the power there in New Orleans. We want to show you some extraordinary pictures which came to us from the Vatican on what was of course an extraordinary day. Within hours of Pope Benedict announcing that he was to resign, take a look at this. Lightning struck St Peter's Basilica, you can see it again now in slow motion. Extraordinary, it happened just before 6 o'clock in the evening, local time.